Welcome, welcome. It's Friday and this is Marsha Grace, your Calm Creativity Connector here as always. And today I want to talk about a, a it could be considered a, a sensitive topic depending on where you fall in the spectrum of the discussion um, because we're going to talk about family, <laughs> fun or feud. Uh, because um, uh, as business women, we have multiple, multiple responsibilities, much more so than men do because we're running households, taking care of kids, uh, shopping and cooking and cleaning probably uh, as well. So, um, so if you um, have a spouse or you have kids, um, your life is most likely a merry-go-round, right? You never get old, you never stop. You're never able to slow down and stop. And I understand this, I, I totally do. Uh, I've been there myself, so I remember the days when I was um, um, at home. Uh, I was teaching, I was going to school at the same time. I had a family and a husband. So yeah, I, I know what it is to be busy. So. Finding balance between home and business can be quite um, a never-ending struggle, quite a challenge, right? Uh, so your family, you know, might have expectations, obviously has expectations of you. And, um, and for you, they may seem unrealistic. Of course, to them, they seem, you know, necessary. So <laughs> there could be a little bit of a rub there. So let's discuss the issues and some solutions to uh, some of these things that might be going on in your family um, as a result of being a very uh, busy and stressed busy woman uh, businesswoman so all right uh, so I've, I've spoken about childhood issues in this series about um, abundance mentality and how childhood issues can uh, affect greatly affect how we perceive ourselves and how we are able to succeed in our businesses or not, you know, or they can hold us back. Uh, so we're not gonna talk about that today because that we've discussed, but I wanna talk about our current situation with our current family and how those things can impact uh, our success, our self-confidence, our, um, uh, and our, you know, our ability to, uh, to be happy to be joyful, to, uh, to be creative, right? To me, creativity is extremely important as a business person. So, and I'm sure you would agree with that. So, um, uh, does your family have a, a negative attitude about your business? This is an important question because if they're hundred percent behind you, well, that makes it very easy. If they're not, if they're feeling kind of neglected, um, you know, that's something to look at, you know, maybe they're right. And maybe they, maybe you need to kind of see what you can do about that. Maybe they're wrong. And if they're wrong, there may be reasons why they're feeling that way, uh, even though they shouldn't. So we, we can see what else we get here. Um, so uh, I would say um, another issue that we, that we often come up with, you know, along with the kids is the spouse. Okay, so again, the spouse may feel neglected or the spouse may feel left out. Um, uh, and, and this is an important, important consideration because if you have a husband, a wife, a, a whatever, a, you know, a, a significant other, um, part of a relationship, a very important part of a relationship is sharing your life with that person, sharing what's important to you, and um, how you're doing things and you know, or, or so many things in, in a relationship that we tend to forget because when we're really busy, we don't stop to think, gee, did I tell so-and-so about this? You know, you may not have done that. And not because you didn't want to, but it just, in this grand scheme of things, it was not top priority on your list. So sometimes we have to shuffle our priorities around in order to, uh, make changes that are going to be beneficial to us. And this is definitely something cons to consider. All right, um, so 
one of the questions, does your, does your spouse understand your business? Maybe part of the problem is that you really haven't explained uh, what you're doing in a way that he can get on board and say, wow, this is great. Maybe I can help you in some way or support you at least. And, um, and that would change everything in your relationship, don't you think? So it's really good to really make sure you sit down and explain what you're doing and what your goals are, what your vision is for your business. Uh, and you might find you have a, an unsuspected partner uh, I to help you. So definitely consider that. Um, what else? Let's see, I'm looking at my list. Um, all right, so be honest about the time that you need to put into your business. Don't say, um, I'll be home at six for dinner when you know you're not gonna make it till eight. Don't do that to your kids, don't do that to your husband or wife. Don't do that because you're setting up a situation of constantly failing to meet your, uh, you know, your promises. And um, that's very debilitating to relationships and it's very debilitating to you because you're not being honest with yourself. And Above all, you know, I, you know me, I'm the take care of yourself person. You must take care of yourself first so that you can be a terrific business person, so that you can be a good parent and, and mate and so forth. So one of those things is to be totally honest about uh, how much time you have to spend. And maybe that might bring up some stuff that says, well, you know, um, maybe I don't need to spend as much time on this particular project, or maybe I can hand this item over to someone else to do so that I don't have to do it and that frees me up to spend a couple hours with my family. So these are things that, uh, you know, if you start to think about how you do things and, um, and maybe you're just not realizing there's a better way, you know, there may be a better way. And that's why with my meditative contemplation program, uh, I, I uh, show you how to take that few minutes in the morning, most likely, to just open yourself up to the whatever possibilities can exist for you uh, in that quiet space that you create in the morning before your day starts. Um, because that's the time when you're, you know, you're most um, likely to open yourself to new ideas because your day hasn't started yet, you're not running around, you haven't got a million things going on. And so, you know, there's that time when you can really let your creativity out, out of the cage and, and let it fly. And you'd be surprised at what will happen as a result, that you will realize things or discover things or invent things that you never would have thought of before. So, uh, so I definitely, definitely, definitely want you to... Um, Consider, you know, consider some form of morning practice where you can allow yourself that space. All right, uh, what else? Um, uh, honest, yeah, be honest. You need to put, uh, all right, so t are you spending, I can't even read my own writing here, uh, quality time with the kids or working too late and you don't see them? So, of course, that's a definite problem. Well, hello, Michael. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so again, the, these are all things that we want to be as open and transparent. I know that's the latest word now, right? We got to be transparent and to uh, let people know what's going on in our thoughts so that so they're not standing around wondering what's going to happen now you know what's what's she up to you know that kind of thing so let's look at some things that we can really put into practice to make this work to make these shifts perhaps that might be needed and that would be uh, first thing have a family powwow right just get the family together maybe after a nice dinner and um and, and just talk to them, you know, it, again, it depends on how much you've actually shared with them previously. And maybe you have, there are things that you haven't, that you could definitely tell them about, depending on the age of the kids and what, you know, all your, whatever your circumstances are. Okay, so, uh, so have that little talk. 
and um, you know, tell them why you started the business. I'll bet you you've never told that to your kids. I'll bet you you haven't. Um, it's, not an, it's not a normal topic of conversation for most people, I would think, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but anyway, if you haven't, then yeah, tell them what was your vision, what was your dream, what, what got you started on this? and get them excited. I mean, wouldn't it be wonderful? I mean, we have to bring up the next generation of entrepreneurs because I think uh, everything I've been reading about is that entrepreneurhood is the way to go um, if you can at all manage it, if you have that temperament, uh, because um, at least you have nobody to answer to but yourself. And sometimes that's a scary thing, but sometimes it's a good thing. So, uh, or it should be a good thing because you're, you're in the driver's seat and it's up to you, the energy and the effort that you put into something that makes that will make your business go. So, um, okay, so you wanna share, and um, you want to, what did I say here? Uh, um, oh, have, have a time frame, you know, set up a time frame that this is your time together with your family, whether it's the dinner hour or some other time, whatever works for you, um, that, this is the time that we're all going to spend together because then they can look forward to it. Then they know, oh, we're going to be a family. We're all going to, you know, hang out together and share whatever it is we need to share. So that that's really um, an inc important thing. And just as well to set, make sure that you've set aside the time that this is my work time and please don't interrupt unless it's an emergency. Okay. Because especially if you're working from home now, which so many people are, um, it's so easy for a child to just come into your office or if you're on the kitchen table, you know, come up and, you know, start talking to you and, um, you know, might interrupt you right in the middle of a brilliant idea you just had. So, uh, so uh, as a writer, I can appreciate, I know, I know how this is. So, yeah, so set aside the time. And if you, of course, have an office where you can close a door, uh, that would be best and say, do not disturb until X hour. And let them know that you mean it. You know, you're, you're very serious. So that's that's helpful. That'll be helpful for you. And it also set boundaries for them, for, for your kids. I mean, your kids need boundaries in order to feel secure. Um, any any uh, uh, teacher will tell you that. So, um, and, and you have to learn to be honest with what those hours are. And maybe you have to, at the beginning, you might have to, wiggle them around a little bit and see what hours are actually working for you because you don't want to set up a time and then not be able to fulfill it, uh, you know, especially with the family time. All right, so um, what else? Um, uh, and then don't, okay, okay. Another thing that will really uh, help your family understand your business is to share your results with them. Now, some people are reticent to share financial matters. Um, maybe you're not, uh, you know, and again, that's great if that, if that works for you. So, you know, to share the, your revenue, you know, if you've made a big sale, maybe you don't have to share the amount. You can just say, wow, I, I got a great customer today and uh, we're gonna do X, Y, and Z, or I'm gonna do this and that for them or whatever it is. And, um, and, and, and have, you know, or show them the contract, show them, you know, show them something if you can, uh, the work order, whatever it is, and, um, and, and let them share your happiness. That is, that's, that's really what I'm talking about here. It's about sharing the good stuff together, right? Not just by yourself, but having that support system around you to share and celebrate with you. So, um, yeah. I think, uh, I think if, if you really just step back for a little bit and allow yourself to uh, consider that, uh, you know, you're on, a, you're on a seesaw kind of thing, right? And so, is this way? I don't know, a seesaw. Um, so up and down, right? Up and down. And you wanna find that balance, that place of balance where your work and your family have, uh, have equal time or this, the amount of time necessary. It doesn't have to be exactly the same amount of hours, um, probably not, but at least you know equal time in terms of what is um, quality time, time that you can spend together. And um, you know when you find that balance, you're going to 
just find that your your head is clearer. You know that you're 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 more um, able to uh, go about your work meaningfully without other things on your mind. You know, in the background, worrying, well, what are my kids doing, or what are, you know, what is my husband thinking, or whatever. You know that that you can um, be a, a clear-minded uh, business person doing your job with without those. Uh, negative thoughts floating around in your head and because that's your ultimate goal if you want to be have an abundant mentality right you want to have an abundant mentality uh, part of that abundance comes from having a sense of peace a sense of peace a sense of we talked about this last week about um, knowing that uh, uh, and gratitude right having gratitude which produces peace which produces calmness and creativity they all those things work together so that you can be the most successful businesswoman possible right that's your goal and that's my goal that's my goal so uh okay so um what do i want to say i want to say if you found this helpful as i always do please share it with other businesswomen that you think would find it valuable and um please go to my website and find my free 10 tips to find your calm. It's a nice little thing that you can download and then just stick it somewhere. And whenever you need a, a little tool, a little help, when you're feeling a little jittery, you can look at it. And uh, also, of course, there's my uh, um, uh, Facebook group that I started a while back uh, of other women entrepreneurs. And you can join that. It's uh, Calm, Creative, Joyful for the Busy Businesswoman. And we have some uh, meditations there. We have some uh, affirmations every Monday. And of course, you can see this um, Facebook Live again in there. All right. So without further ado, it's Friday. Go have yourself a grand time this weekend and in the week ahead. And remember, everything begins with a thought. So keep your thoughts light. Until next time. Bye-bye.